Alright guys, welcome to a game called Observation. Um, in this one, you play as an AI. Um, I believe you have to piece together what happened to this space crew. Uh, I know it's got some puzzles in it. Uh, it's a big story game. Uh, it's made by... I think they're called Devolver Digital. They've made another game that I really, really want to play. It's short, like, kind of short story horror game um, that I'm going to do eventually. Uh, now, I believe I have set subtitles already on. I think it was, they were enabled from the start, so let's go ahead and start a new game. Oh, okay. Well, I guess. Subtitles. I guess that means that they're on. I don't know. Yeah, it seems to be like that they're on. I don't know. But I don't know. I think this is more just like a mystery thriller type of thing. I don't think it's a horror game. Uh, Sci-fi mystery th thriller type thing. And it's, uh, this was only on, I believe it's only on the PS4 and the Epic Games Store. It might also be on the Xbox Store, I don't know, but I don't really like the Epic Games Store because it's horrible user interface. It's absolute crap. So I just got it on the PlayStation. It's kind of why I don't play many Xbox games because the UI is just not very good. Now, hopefully, because I know there's supposed to be some puzzles in here. Hopefully, they don't get the best of me. Not great at puzzles, you know. Access. Enable voice authentication. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140, Okay. This is interesting. Guess we'll go ahead and accept. Great. Thanks, Sam. That's... Come on, give me something. Sam? Are you there? Respond. Let's see, hold R2 to enter response mode. Or L2. 
citizen administration and maintenance online. I am here. Oh, thank God. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Sam, you seem to have booted up in Module 8. I'm going to relocate you to the Horizon Utility Hub in Module 9. That should give you access to limited system diagnostics. Hang on. Great. Listen, I'm stuck in the Horizon airlock in Module 11. I need to get into 9, but I'm not sure if it's safe to open this hatch door. Can you give me hull and pressure diagnostics on Module 9? Okay, Module 9. Pressure safe, power's low, hull contacts true. System links are connected where he should be good. Let's go ahead and see 11. Save, flow, true, and connected. And 10. Save, flow, hull contacts are false. I don't know what that means. And same thing for 8. So everything's good except for 10. Module 9 is fully pressurized. Okay, that's good. Good. Are the adjacent contact points from 9 intact? Let's see. Module 9 hull contact points to adjacent modules read true. Good, we're still connected. Uh, something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the hull contact points on the other modules? Yes, we have checked it and it's number 10. Module 10 hull contact points to 12 read false. Suggesting that Module 12 is no longer securely attached to the station. Shit. I think Josh might have been in Module 12. Okay. I'm coming through to 9. Sam! The hatch door is jammed shut! <sighs> Controls aren't responding. See if you can restore power. Sam, you still there? What's going on, Sam? What is that noise? Sam, what is that? Sam, a response! What the hell is going on? Do we have to accept? I don't know what this is. Okay, she's alive. What just happened? I, oh, I think I blacked out. This isn't good. This isn't good. Sam, run your self-diagnostic procedure. And what errors are you showing?
Alright, relocation network error. Let's go ahead and diagnose that. Auto connect. Let's run the check. Module relocation network is non operational. Crew assist required. Relocation functions are offline. I require auto routing to access module cameras. Okay, I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. Right, let's go ahead and diagnose the memory core error. Ninety-five percent degradation. Ninety-three percent. Eighty-seven percent. And ninety-seven. The main memory core has been corrupted. I have lost significant station data. Okay. So most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download, and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self. We'll try. Crew tracker error. Crew identification network connection failed. Tracker power station monitor. That's established. Vitals and live parameter sensors. Established. Location sensor array. Established. The connection between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. So it's working, but the link is cut. I'll need to reconnect it in Central. Josh? May? Anyone? Shit. Okay. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from Module 9. Okay, I'm auto-routing you back to the utility hub in Module 9. Camera movement should be online now. Run a test. Looks good. Camera cycling should be active as well. Check the other cameras. Great. I can see your live feed updating from here. There should be a system links reset procedure document on the wall somewhere in there. Find it and scan it. Your scan right. range is limited, so use your camera zoom to get closer. She said on the wall. All right, so we got a bunch of papers right here. Can't scan them though. Well, maybe right here. Shows terminal input code that allows a crew member to reset SAM system link functionality in the event of a software failure. Warning this procedure will require a reconnection to all system links station wide, only perform after a full reset. Okay, that should be reinstalling the system link interface. 
Use your cameras to locate the hatch controls and any other integrated systems and equipment. Alright, does this count? Offline connection spear, nothing there. Okay, now add the EAS 11 airlock hatch controls. Okay, so right here. your system link interface to open the EAS-11 airlock. Let's see, my guess is... Oh, okay. Let's go with schematics. Requires schematic data not found, okay. So, I think we need to find the schematics. Let's go ahead and, well, let's see if we can open it. Oh, okay. That's it. It's open. I'm out. Good work, Sam. Okay, let's get this up and running. Josh? I don't know if you can hear me, but... Oh, I hate these things. Josh, if you're in EAS Module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. Josh? Houston? Anyone? What? Uh, wait a minute, Sam? Our internal communication network is fully online. Where has everyone gone? Oh, shit. Uh, okay, station alerts, station alerts. Right, Sam, you should have access to your OS now. Enter the same as systems at any time by clicking. You can now relocate to any module and view its camera feeds. In the EAS arm, at least. Try it now. Find that fire, Sam. Alright, so we have to find a fire. It's not here. Oh, I think we found it. Yep. There is a fire out of control in EAS-4. Shit, I'm on my way! Okay. 
to impair in the hatch so we can let her in, I guess. Oh, they're locked. but it's locked. Let's see. Yeah, we don't have a schematic so we can't do anything. Can we do it from here? See, I don't think this is it, but... That one's offline. Please repeat your previous request. I said, get the door open. I am stuck in EAS 6. Oh, she's stuck in 6. Sorry. It's open. I'm on my way. Relocate to EAS three. I'll need your help when I get there. All right, we're here. Food warmer right here. Looks like you already have the hatch system links. Good. Get ready. Fire suppression override. Dr. Emma Fisher. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door. On three. I can. Are you ready? One. Two. No, 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 no. Three. I can't. Shit, Sam! On three! Open the bloody door! Oh, I'll do it myself. That's it! Come on! It was locked. I couldn't open it. Okay. This, yeah, this one's offline now, so we I don't think we could open that. Let's 
see where the vents are. There we go. That's it, it's working. The fumes are dissipating now. How bad is it? Let's see. Report damage. Poses fear if available. Possess fear. Oh, let's see. Damage report. Yeah, how do I? Crap, how do I assess the damage? Response mode, system links, so L1, I think. No? Let's see. Current task is damage reports, so... Several of the storage lockers have been severely damaged by the fire. Okay. What started it? What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. Is this environmental sensor that's the only... Let's see... This panel... That's the hatch controls. Let's see, I can't seem to find anything that would have started it. I'll light up when I go over there. Let's see if we can go up. You would think it'd be this residue oh, okay. on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? That's just a blank plate. Let me see. Something is coming out 
the side. What is that? It's like a thick grease. Or oil. Dark red. There's maybe something in storage above that's leaking. Oh, come on. What now? Sam, give me a status report. Crew quest status reports. Severe stress warning on ESA 12. There is significant stress being applied to EAS 12. Immediate separation recommended. Please, if there is anyone in module 12, make yourself known now. We are about to jettison the module. Someone, please respond. This is getting much worse. <sighs> okay. Sam, get ready for the separation procedure. First, process my authorization code and give me a security override key. 1442 I can't remember that. Sam, come on! Oh, I supposed to do it as you say it. One four four two four one three three two four. Two nine zero three four one nine. Got it. Inputting now. Okay. Hurry, Sam. Target the jets and push the module away safely. Oh, uh, okay. We don't have I much guess, time. I know, go, I know, I'm go, go, go. Stressful. It's very stressful. EAS-12 is still tethered with unusual structural damage. It's like a hole has been cut out of it. What would do that? We must have spun off course. Damage doesn't look too severe. Just isolated sections. Fire damage, okay. There is minor exterior damage to module EAS-4, likely due to the internal fire. Yeah, I think we got lucky there. CN arm is badly damaged. Oh God, May. It looks intact, though. I'm going to connect to the distance cam. We should see where we are above Earth and if we've lost any altitude.
Yeah, okay, fair. I brought you here. It seems. What? Why? I don't know. How did we get here? It's kind of creepy. Ooh. Very interesting credits. Now, hopefully... Uh, it's a, between a five and seven hour game, I believe, is what I was reading. Now, if I don't get it finished between these two days, hopefully I don't forget the controls. It's around four days that I don't get to play games, so... It was very interesting so far. I like the way they're doing credits and everything. It's like the start of a movie. Started your core systems. You weren't making any sense. And to be quite honest, I'm fucking terrified right now. And anyway, without you, I'm not going anywhere, so. Welcome back. Okay, first off. Let's try this again. Sam, voice authenticate. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140412. Okay. Okay. So, Sam. Here's the deal. I'm stuck in the EAS arm for now. I think it's related to power, but a lot of the hatches are fully locked down, so... I'm gonna try something different here. Okay, Sam. I have rigged a connection sphere for you to use. You should be able to take control of this and fly around the station. It'll let you reach parts of the station your cameras can't see, and it'll let you wirelessly connect to non-station devices, like laptops. There. Looking good, Sam. Okay. Let's see if you can move it. 
fly over to me. Okay. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna stop the video right here. I think I'm gonna be making these around 30 to 40 minutes long. So far, it's really cool. I'm excited to find out how everything happened. Hope you guys are enjoying it, and I'll see you the next time. Have a great day. Bye.